Welcome back to another GeekWatt video and today taking over the best $300 Intel and Nvidia based gaming PC build for the month of August and September 2015. This build is easily capable of the latest AAA titles sorry, at 720p medium to high settings whilst achieving well over 60 frames per second. It's also very capable of your favourite titles such as CSGO, World of Warcraft, League of Legends and Minecraft at 1080p high to ultra settings at well above 60 and 100 in some cases frames per second. So let's get straight to it. The CPU I've gone for is the Intel Pentium G3258, and whilst this CPU is only a dual core so won't fare very well in some of the latest AAA titles, for a lot more than mainstream titles this CPU's single threaded performance is very good, not to mention it's also a great overclocker which uh, which goes well with the motherboard that we're using, it, it does overclock very well and very cool on the stock cooler, and you can get it up to about 4GHz which will give you a lot of extra performance, something that's highly beneficial in a budget end build. The motherboard that I've gone for is the Gigabyte G8 B85M DS3H. Uh, this is a micro ATX form factor motherboard, which means it's a bit smaller than the case we've gone for, which will give you a bit of room to play around with, uh, especially good if you're a first time builder. Uh, it's got everything on that you could possibly need, and it, it does overclock quite decently with this CPU. That's all you need to know for the motherboard. For the RAM, I've gone for 4GB, 1 4GB DIMM of DDR3 1866MHz memory from Kingston Fury. Uh, this is their HyperX uh, module. Uh, I trust these completely. I've used these several times before and that they are very, very good. Uh, this is clocked at slightly more uh, 1866MHz rather than the, uh, the standard run in the mill 1600MHz. And for another $17, you can easily add in another 4GB DIMM later on down the line. Not to mention you can pick from red, uh, black, white and blue colours to go with whatever colour combination you want. For the uh, for storage for this build, I went for a hard drive. Seagate's Barracuda is um, is actually the, one of the cheapest hard drives you can get right now. It's a three and a half inch form factor, seven thousand two hundred RPM, which means it's nice and fast, and it will have plenty of room to store your music, movies, games. It won't be quite as fast as an SSD, but it um, but it will be the best you can get sort of hard drive wise. For uh, the video video uh, solution i've gone for a discrete gpu uh, which is always better really than integrated graphics or an apu it's uh, gtx 750 from zotac it's got one gigabyte of vram uh, it's a pretty solid gpu it's got a, a fan doesn't need any extra power so you won't be having to worry about uh, sort of high power requirements and it is quite a nice performer on um, nvidia's nice and cool maxwell architecture which will mean it uh, creates less uh, less heat in your case um especially with less fans in that case it, it does help a lot for the case, I've gone for the Diablo Tech Diamond ATX Mid Tower. This case has got a 400 watt inbuilt power supply to power the whole build. Uh, the power supplies in these cases can be a bit weaker than buying a separate power supply, but by having the power supply included, you do get a lot more value, and the GPU isn't too power hungry anyway, so, so it's not going to be putting any significant strain on the PSU in this build. And that's pretty much it. If you have found this video helpful, all the links you need to know will be in the description below. And uh, once again, thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like, comment, rate, and please do subscribe. And we'll see you in the next GeekerWatt video. The video you've just been watching is all part of GeekerWatt's Big Summer. Check the links in the description below for 50 videos over 42 days and 6 weeks. The idea is to get loads of tech-related content up from tech terminology, tech reviews, tech news, PC builds, uh, tech topics, along with a load of Windows 10 content, and my Budget Build Guide 2015 and How to Build a, ba a Gaming PC 2015 tutorials. We'll see you in the next GeekerWatt video, and I'll see you over on Twitter with hashtag GeekerWatt's Big Summer.